last tutorial, I showed you how to do some preliminary editing to video in Lightroom. And just to recap, what I did was I'm going to double click this first video. I can set my in point, and my out point by clicking this little gear icon and dragging this slider on the left to set my in point and this slider on the right to set my out point. Now I'm going to undo both of these because I like the way it was trimmed before. And another thing I showed you in the last lesson was how to click this icon and capture a frame and it captures it as a JPEG. And then I showed you how to edit the JPEG in the develop module, which is like you'd edit any other image. And I'm just going to do some preliminary work on it. Set the highlights and the whites. Add some clarity, vibrance, and saturation. And then with this in the library module, all I need to do is select the image I've edited, the JPEG image, copy my develop settings, and then paste them to the video. And that's editing. Now let's turn them into a finished video. So I've got three clips here that I've edited. And to create a video, I go into the slideshow module. I've got my three videos here. And they're all lined up exactly the way I want them. And if you remember in the video slideshow lesson, what I did was I chose the widescreen template because all I want to show is the video. And then under titles, under the intro screen, if I click the intro screen checkbox, add identity plate is chosen by default. And if I click the identity plate menu and choose edit, I'm going to call this mystical Mayaka and click OK. And now I am going to scale it up so it fills the screen. And I am going to choose an ending screen. Again, I'm going to choose Add Identity Plate. And I'm actually, I'm going to leave that the way it is right now. Doug plus Rocks Photography. But I am going to scale it up so it fills the end of the screen. Now, you can put anything you want in here. Just edit what's already in there. And the Identity Plate Editor appears. Type the text in you want. Click OK. So now I've got my three videos lined up just the way I want them. And what's a good video without music? Well, you could use a little popcorn. But at any rate, I'm going to add music by clicking the little button that says Turn On Audio. Click Plus. And then from my royalty-free music folder, I am going to choose an MP3 clip. Now, exporting as a video is a whole different kettle of fish because we have three videos and we have an intro screen and an ending screen. The intro screen and ending screen are slides. So if we click Sync Slides to Music, we're only going to show five slides. We're going to show the poster frame for each video and the video won't play. If we choose Fit to Music, it shows 69.7 seconds for a slide length, which isn't a good thing because nobody wants to watch the intro screen and the ending screen for 69.7 seconds. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to manually set this to about four seconds for the starting slide. And actually, I can just type the value in and 2.5 seconds for a crossfade. I'm actually going to pump that up to three seconds. So get a nice gradual cross frame. So now the only thing we need to do is do our audio balance. 
Now because I had a lot of wind noise in this, I am going to drag the audio balance all the way to music. Pan and zoom, I'm not going to choose because I have video. And for quality, I'm going to choose high. And for export video, all I need to do is name this. I choose a preset. I'm going to choose 1080 because this was all high definition video. I could choose 720, which is 1280 by 720 high def video, or 480 by 270 for a website, or 640 by 480 for a 4x3 for a website. But in this case, I'm going to export it as 1080 high def video. And there you have it. Exporting video clips as a completed video in Lightroom's slideshow module.